Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back, you lovely faces, to a brand new video here on this channel. Oh, do we have something interesting? I know a lot of people have seen this. In a matter of fact, I'm pretty sure it's something like nearly 60-odd thousand people have seen this. But I wanted to get this out there because I wanted to do my little thoughts on it. And obviously, we are going to be talking about Dan the Dick Wooten. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, he is back in the news because... It seems like the majority of the UK have gone against him. Amazing. So, obviously last week, last Thursday, we did have uh, Queen Elizabeth here in the UK pass away. And obviously, I'm not a royalist, I'm not anything else, but the way I look at it is, she was a mother and a grandmother and a great-grandmother, so that's how I saw it. And again, people on the stream on Thursday, you know, you could see how we were all uh, talking about it. But Dan Wooten... The man who, if you are semi-famous or if you're famous and you're going through a bad patch, literally emotionally, and you're not uh, having a good time, Dan Wooten will try and exploit that. He did that to a whole host of people here in the UK. He actually made one uh, TV presenter take her own life because of it. And this is just how Dan Wooten thinks he's above everyone. I say that because he literally does think that. When he was here in the UK on uh, Lorraine, Lorraine Kelly on, that's the name I was trying to think then, the uh, the GB News, uh, sorry, the Good Morning Britain, uh, like 9 till 10 or half past 9 half past 10 sort of thing. She had her own little show. He would come on and he would try and be big and everything else. He was bigger than everyone. I know all the stars. I do this. I do that. And he was just prancing around like a prat. But... This, I think, really takes the cake of what he's done. Again, like I said, a lot of you have seen this. But this is the tweet he put out on the 10th. I wanted to return to Buckingham Palace today for some quiet reflection and lay my own tribute. Crowds young, old, from all ethnicities and backgrounds. Truly the best of British doing her justice. Now, this is what he put out there. First of all... Why is he recording? Why has he got a friend recording him laying some flowers down and then doing this kind of pose with his hands? It's not like, it's not quite reflection. It is self-promotion. This is what he did. I'm not going to play the volume because it's just uh, background noise. But we do have this. Yes, I lay these flowers down for you. Watch him step back now. Watch him step back. With his, let's look around. Yes. Yes. Why is he walking away? You know? But it's really interesting because a lot of people, well, you know, one of the best ones is this gentleman down by here, Andy. Hi, Dan. I was beside you there today. Nothing says quite a quiet reflection like doing four takes of that video. Then directing your friend to make sure you get the shot of me praying after I lay the flowers and checking the video after each effort. Now, in my mind, all I got is him doing this. Right, Tommy, make sure you get my good side. I want this side right there. Let me just get some, uh, you know, some face powder on. i make myself look beautiful. Got to shine for the camera. You know that. You know, right. I'm going to go down. I'm going to lay the flowers. And then stand back. My hands are going to do this kind of gesture. Like, you know, like a vagina. And then we're going to go. Hmm. I'm going to look around then, uh, Tommy. And I'm going to walk away. Even though you're there recording, I'm going to try and just be like, yeah, no one's there. There's no one there recording me whatsoever. You're oblivious to me, Tommy. Okay? Good. Now, take one. Did you get me in shot, Tommy? Oh, no, I didn't get you in shot, Dan. Sorry. <gasps> For God's sake, Tommy! That's what I can see happening. I can literally see him going on, and basically, if Tommy didn't get the correct shot, I'm calling him Tommy. That's the name of the cameraman now in my mind. And I really do think Dan probably said, you haven't got me in shot. Why haven't you got me in shot when I'm trying to you know, do this and look around and trying to be, oh, no. This is so sad. Self-promotion for me. That's what I really do think happened. And people jumped on it because this is one of the funniest things regarding it, okay? Dan Wooten, this is in 2020 year now. 
Christership. Prince Harry and Meghan have marked Remembrance Sunday by visiting the Los Angeles National Cemetery today. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex wanted to personally recognise the day in their own, laying flowers and anything else and going amongst them. How lucky that a photographer happened to be here to capture this deeply personal moment. Dan, what the hell are you doing, you dickhead? You know, you are literally acting like a... Well, he is, he is, we know what he is. He's the biggest hypocritical prick out there. But when you see this uh, as well, this was... This is May of this year, only a couple of months ago. I find it unimaginable that Meghan Markle would travel the length of the US for a tacky photo opportunity at the site of the Uvalad school, but refused to see her stroke-stricken dad a couple of hours drive away. My new column for Mail Online. Yeah, this is the guy, you know, who literally has said all of these, you know, oh, look, a photographer is there. Oh, my God. And then there's him doing this. I just, I just find it absolutely quite, I do find it funny. But I like her trainers. But yeah, it's, my hands are up like this. I'm looking down. I'm going to walk away now. Make sure you get me, Tommy. Why the fuck is he walking away from me? You know, it's just... Look, you can tell it is so pre-planned. It is disgusting. Literally. When you actually go into the comments as well, it's so true. You know what? we got that. There we go. That was what I wanted to see. Do good with intention, not for attention. Look at me, folks. I'm laying flowers for the Queen at Buckingham Palace, and I took some time for quiet reflection. Actually, have a look a minute. The video is 16 seconds long. What can you reflect in 16 seconds long? That you're a twat? That you're a hypocritical dickhead? What? What can you do? Literally, in those 16 seconds, because he lays them down. Right, I'm going down now. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, nine seconds. You know what? That is not even quiet reflection because laying him down, taking a step back, he's not reflecting on anything there. And then when he walks away, is on the stroke of nine seconds. He thinks. You know, literally, he was probably there going, I'm going to put these down. I'm going to wait. I'm going to look around for 10 seconds. Then I'm going to walk away. Make sure you get that, Tommy. That's what's going to happen. And to be honest with you, I just can't stand the man. You know, you all know my story about him and when we met him you know, years ago for a social media engagement and uh, award ceremony up in London with uh, my old uh, company. And he is just the biggest hypocritical prat that there is, you know. And with all of this, I'm just so happy to see that... Uh, the majority of the UK feel the same way about him because the guy is just horrible. He will destroy your life if you have a go with him. But it's okay for him to have a go at you. Now remember, he uh, he sent Caroline Flack's ex fiance to prison this year. Why? Dan Wooten felt threatened for his life because Caroline Flack's ex fiance was calling him out on social media and saying, don't get me wrong, he was saying stupid stuff online, but it was like, Dan, you do this every single day in the newspaper. You call people out. You put them front and center of the front page of The Sun. Which, by the way, is one of the worst newspapers ever. Well, it's not a newspaper, it's a tabloid. You know, you could probably have a poo, wipe your bum, and it'll probably come out with a better story. But that's, you know, that's what Dan Wooten does. But there we have it, ladies and gents. Kind of interesting to see, you know. But if you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. We will be covering up on this, you know, seeing what happens and uh, if anything else comes of this. But if you are new, like I said, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you all very soon.